the... Look at that couch. 50 bucks right there. Uh, I think I'd give it 35. I know couches. That's a $50 couch. 35. Do you see that? We got a brand new refrigerator. With an ice maker. And you see that sink? It's like two weeks old. With a garbage disposal. Wow, did the owners just up and die? Yep, double coordinator. <laughs> what? We got this place because somebody died? Two old sisters. They must have been 70 each. Two people died? <laughs> one had a heart attack, fell down dead. The other one comes in, sees her. <gasps> she drops dead, too. Whole place, brand spanking new. What do you think this couch is? Cotton? Mm, cotton. I don't know, Terry. This place may be haunted. Haunted schmaunted. I'd let a group of poltergeists pull you into the TV for that ice maker. And you wonder why you have problems relating with people. Who could that be? No one knows we live here yet. Why, I don't know, Terry. I can't imagine. Why, look, it's Jay. Jay, our friend. Our friend Jay. Hi, Jay. What's, What's up, in the guys? box? Why is he bringing in boxes? Uh... Jay, why are you bringing in boxes? Well, I'm moving in. We talked about it over the summer. No, we didn't. Sure, me and Dave talked to you while you were on the toilet. <laughs> you said we sit down and discuss it. I just wanted you out of the bathroom. I believe you were sitting down. You weren't. There was no room. <sighs> Besides, I'm saving each of you guys a hundred bucks. Wow. This place is huge for 400 bucks a month. Who's your, who's your landlord? I believe that would be the Angel of Death Realty, right, Terry? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, we got this place because a couple old ladies died. Died? or killed. Ooh. Nice couch. <laughs> uh, Wheat Springs. You didn't pay for this, did you? No. The old ladies left it when they died. Great. So you got the cheap rent and the couch. Nice. Would you guys stop it? Double coronary. They died. I saw an opportunity and I took advantage of it. <laughs> you know, you'd have an excellent career as a funeral director. Speaking of taking advantage, I made my dad feel real guilty, and he gave me a toll box corned beef hatch. Again? He keeps bringing crap from his father's supermarket. It's like the grocery of the dam. I mean, what was it that one time? Uh, cans of minced meat? Like, sauerkraut juice? Uh, and that one time, kumquats? Who the heck eats kumquats? I recall a certain drunk roommate who once ate three jars of those kumquats. You told me they were olives. So they weren't olives. How about that? What were they, fruit? Oh, I don't know. Wait a minute. He said he saves us $100 each by moving in, right? Yeah, and in beer money, that's ten and a half cases. But that's just it. We pay $400 a month. Split that three ways, and then we save only about $67 a month. Yeah, that's roughly seven cases. A difference of three and a half cases. Yeah, I see your point. Unless he meant he was splitting it four ways, but that would mean that... Hi, guys. Where's Jay? Ah! Hi, Cassie. Jay's in the kitchen. Oh. Yes. Cassandra, excuse us. She's not moving in here. I don't care how long they've been going together. I said you two have some interpersonal conflicts. She hates my guts! No, she's pre-med. She loves your guts. I'd say it's your personality she hates. So, uh, Cassandra, you're visiting, right? Oh, hardly. I'm moving in. I married Jay this summer. You guys got married? No! No, no, no! Shut up. I'm shadowing a pediatric surgeon for the next eight hours. I will be back around 10 o'clock. Will you guys clean this place up? Jay! Order me some Chinese food with extra duck sauce. Extra! Couch, huh? Polyester blend? Cotton. I think you need to cut back on stress. What? I've come at a bad time? No! No, no, no! No more roommates, no more luggage, no more boxes! The door is closed, the tank is full, and there's no more room at the end. Go away to a manger because you ain't bringing your bundles in here, baby! <laughs> Do you greet all your guests this way? Just the ones he's killed for their couches. Oh, that's right. This is a place where those old women died this summer. I know this place. If you're about to start saying this is 
this is an unclean place or evil dwells here. I mean, you can just tell me right now because screw the damage deposit, I can get a room in the door. Hold it, hold it. This place is not haunted and Alex here is not a psychic. She can't even tell who the bad guy is on Scooby-Doo when they tear off his mask. <laughs> well, then how'd you know about the old ladies? I was a local reporter for the Herald this summer. Oh. Help me in editing the school paper, you know. Hey, uh, I brought you a housewarming gift. So what'd you do with the Herald? I was a Metro reporter. I did the piece on the old ladies. Great, huh? Say it. Uh, did you guys know that someone else died here? Good God, what is this, the Amityville Horror? Uh, five, ten bodies, what's the difference? We got quality appliances, <laughs> and we didn't pay for them. <laughs> this is good cake. What is it, lemon? Pineapple. Yeah, yeah, I did some research this summer. I found out this was a frat house back in the 70s. One of the brothers took a header off the roof, and they shut the chapter down. That's when the old ladies moved in. His name was, uh, uh... Oh, it'll come to me. Anyway, I, I made the front page. Death revisits 408 Cameron Street. Well, I'm gonna go check the mail. Let me know if the walls bleed. <laughs> they do. We could always sell the plasma to the donor place down the street. I mean, hey, they pay 25 bucks a donation. Good upside, Terry. I try. Um, Alex, do you own a red Hyundai? Yeah, why? Well, it's about to be backed over by a Tommy's Liquors truck. Oh, my gosh. Wait, help! Think she'll save the car? It all depends. In this situation, it depends whether she goes for the car or the truck. There's no time to go for the car, so she must go for the truck. Mm, good assessment, Terry. You know, you should have stuck with that sports broadcasting class. Nah, no women in it. Alex, you're going for the car. Go, go for, for the, the truck! The truck, Alex! The truck! Oh, man! <laughs> well, we did what we could. Hey, what's that rolling out of the back of the truck? It's a keg. It's a keg! <laughs> oh my god, he's driving away, he doesn't see it. You know, that is a road hazard, and as good upstanding citizens, it's a... <laughs> Whoa. Ah, proud, proud I am to be among such good, fine citizens. Hey, guys, guys, could you help me out of the car? Guys? Hold your horses, we'll get you in a minute. Gosh, quit being such a crybaby. No, no, Terry, roll it. Roll the thing. <laughs> well, I'm finished moving in. Say, did you guys notice the attic? We have an attic? Yeah, by the bathroom. Didn't you see that pole thing in the hallway? Well, I pulled on it and no light came on, so I figured it was broken. <laughs> well, anyway, the attic kind of smells funny. Weird funny or White Castle After Effect funny? Mm, kind of in between. We should probably clean whatever's up there. Ah, we'll do it later. No, I mean, we just moved in, so we're probably only this motivated right now. If we don't clean it now, we probably never will. Perfectly comfortable with that. Well, okay. Just somebody remember to buy air freshener. <laughs> Done. 85 channels pumped through 315 watt per channel, 20 inch acoustic suspension woofers. It's deluxe bass hyper stereo. I've never heard of it. <laughs> well, only a few audio nuts in Europe and Japan have it. Them and the Grateful Dead bus. Of course, I had to take out a student loan to get this one. Now explain this to me, Jay. I mean, I like TV, TV and music just as much as the next guy, but, but you, this is like another world with you. Okay, see, Cassie works like a dog to become a doctor. Medical this, medical that. When she comes home, she shreds me. Every time she shreds me, I get louder speakers. And now? At half volume, they'll blind a small child. Jay, let me ask you something. Does it, I mean, the way she treats you, does it ever make you regret that you married early? Terry, the way she treats me, sometimes it makes me regret the fact that I was ever born. Pathetic, huh? 
But I still got a stereo that can block, block out a city block. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Listen, did you guys hear that? No, what noise? Jeez, I did hear that. Terry, you got us a haunted house. No, no, there are no haunted houses and there are no ghosts. There may be unbreakable fixtures and there may be brand new fixtures and unbreakable leases, but there are no, no, no haunted houses and no strange noises in this house. And that sounds perfectly normal to you. I came from the big city. I hear that all the time. <laughs> all right, just settle down. There is a solution here. We'll just find it, okay? Okay. Terry? Okay. Okay, first we need a plan. Who's got a plan? My idea is that we send somebody up to the attic to see what's going on. Good idea. Okay, all in favor, raise your hand. All right, I say we lure some passerby up there and tell them there's free candy. <laughs> that is so stupid. Yeah. Okay, um... We tell, we wait for Cassie to come and then make her go up there. Yeah, now that's a plan. All in favor? <laughs> yeah. What? You'd send your own wife up there not knowing what it is? How could you? But I thought you guys liked the idea. Yeah, but we're not married to her. I mean, you shouldn't use till death do as part as an escape clause. I mean, at least you should be against this. How could you live with yourself? <sighs> okay, okay. Who wants to have Cassie go up to the attic to see what's going on up there? All opposed? Well, the vote's two to one. Cassie goes. Democracy? What are you gonna do? Where's my Chinese food, Jay? Before you tell her, maybe you should let her eat first. Um, we'll follow in a minute. Okay, good idea. Coming, honey! Okay, let's go. What do you mean there's no extra duck sauce? You know... Yeah, we can wait. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't see what's so funny. You guys came up with this all by yourselves? You all get worse when you're alone, don't ya? Now look here, Cassandra. Whether you know it or not, we have a situation on our hands. There's something up in the attic, and we have no idea what it is. Oh, you're you're right, Terrence. And and I believe at last check, your best guess was two dead women who want their blenders back. Um, ice maker. Whatever. Look, the only thing in this room is the ton of mourn effect you guys bring to it when you're alone for ten minutes. Hey. Wait, guys. She's right. What can I say? There's nothing up in the attic. But, uh, Cassandra, since there's nothing up there, why don't you go up and check? Because I know you're not afraid. Fine. Terrence, you guys do whatever it was you did before to get that thumping effect. And you, you do nothing. I'm going to get a knife, a big knife. And if I can't find anything to use it on up there, I'm gonna find something down here. I'd pray for ghosts. Man, I feel like those natives who were in charge of summoning King Kong. Oh, those guys bit it. <sighs> Any final words? Well, if we die, we die with fine household accessories. Yeah, put that on my tombstone. Well, let's give it a shot. Okay, now that 
with something. Um, Dave, does that sound like something's coming downstairs? Yes. Yes, it does, Jay. Oh, my God. It, it's the sisters, and they're coming back to get their appliances. Hold on. There's something at the top of the stairs. Uh, Jay, do elderly women usually wear double-knit polyester golf pants? No. Not unless they're Cassie's grandma. I can see why the sisters never got married. All right, the James gang. Sweet. What? The hell is that, and what is it doing in our house? Come, Come in. in. Guys, I put my car in your garage for a while. The mechanic wants like 400, oh my god, Fenton Delbecker. Oh good, you two know each other. All right, I'm gonna go out up there. <laughs> Who the hell are you? How are you? I live here, upstairs. In the attic? I get it. You guys did this to surprise me. No, honey, we... No. You say nothing. I'm going upstairs. And don't any of you bother me until tomorrow. We'll talk. That's Fenton Delbecker. The name I couldn't remember. Uh, could you excuse us for a minute? Hey, that's fine. Do you guys have any beer? Actually, there's a keg in the kitchen. First music, and now a keg! Hey, this is like Christmas! <laughs> okay, do you guys remember that death I was telling you about earlier? Yeah, the frat boy who did the Greg Luganis off the roof? Yeah, well, that guy looks exactly like him. No, Greg, Lu Greg Luganis is way thinner than that. No, you moron! The dead guy! That guy's drink a quarter keg of beer? Well, not according to modern science, no, but frankly, that could be an under-researched field. I think we can start applying for grants then. He finished that? We just got that. We got it free. True. He must be his brother or something. I mean, I saw Fenton's death certificate and his picture at the county records office. Uh, man, I was thirsty. Oh, oh, here. Wow. You guys must be rich. <laughs> Channel 85? Look, it's Chrissy, it's Chrissy from Three's Company. And she's almost naked. <laughs> Man, I gotta give me one of those Thigh Masters. Dude, the ghost from technology passed. I am not buying this. I'll be back. Don't let him go anywhere. Um, Terry, are you okay? No! No more roommates! This house is not haunted, and Disco Boy is no ghost. I can prove it. We just gotta get Cassie. Oh, no. I wouldn't. She's practically a doctor. She takes one look at him, and then we will know. Oh, yes. That is the one way. The one way to know. Don't do it! No! Oh! Oh! There are many, many ways to know. And as soon as I find you some peroxide, I'm gonna show you. Man, this channel's all cartoons! Sweet! Boy, that acne company sure is something, huh? <laughs> I can't believe it. There's no way you can get all that stuff up there. It's so big! But there's just a little tiny stairway up to the attic. And it's so big! There's no way you can get a pool table up there. Or a pizza oven, a hot tub, the bar. He's even got a nine-foot sign from Jack in the Box in there. Hey, guys. Uh, where's Fenton? Uh, he's in the garage working at Alex's car, but I did it. I proved it. He is not a ghost. Oh, no. Oh, well, late. Let, let's hear him out. How'd you do it this time? I held up a mirror, he cast a reflection. I held up the color yellow, didn't even flinch. I held up a pork chop, he ate it. There you go, proof positive. Terry, do you realize his, 
You just proved that he's not a vampire, the Green Lantern, and he's not Jewish. Maybe I'm more than nice Jewish. Well... Okay, guys, I've got a way to prove he's not a ghost. A deadhead to prove if a guy's dead or not. Interesting approach, Alex. This is Professor Siegel. He teaches cultural metaphysics, a course I'm taking this semester. He's the finest mind in his department. Where'd you find him at this hour? It's Blues Night at the Bar. Oh, <laughs> no. Now, Miss Redmond tells me you're working on some kind of project. Yeah. Jay, where's Fenton? He's in the garage. Go get him. A project? Man, can we have a motor oil? Nah, I don't think so. Well, all right. What about Crisco? Yeah, yeah, we'll get you some in a minute. Anyway, Fenton, Professor Siegel. Professor Siegel, Fenton Delbecker. Evan. Nice shirt, man. I got a bootleg from a San Jose Grateful Dead show you ought to hear. Really? A San Jose Dead show? When? Summer of 77. I got it on 8-track. 8-track? Which uh, brings me uh, to our project, Professor Siegel. Fenton isn't entirely sure that he didn't die in the summer of 1978. Really? Role play. Cool. Um, okay. Anyway, we need you to prove if Fenton's dead or not. Well, all right. Fenton, are you ready? Hit me, man. <clears throat> okay. Well, when do you think you died? Well, these guys said I died in 1977. Okay, any idea how? A pledge, a pledge bumped off a three-story beer bong off the roof. So? So I dove after it. <laughs> That's like the last thing I remember. By the way, where are the rest of my fraternity brothers at? Um, dude, they closed down your house when you died. Man, well, that's fine. I was just in it for the social stuff anyway. <laughs> Man, this is a great project. Did you see a, a bright white light? Yeah! Yeah, but I think it was my fraternity brothers shining flashlights in my face while they marked me. <laughs> if you get knocked out in a common area, you're, you're fair game. <laughs> so, what happened next? Well, I woke up outside all alone. I had a real bad hangover, so I went back to bed. Is that all? Well, I kind of remember these old ladies, all shiny and stuff. They woke me up right before you guys did. But then they started screaming and just ran out of the house. And why were they screaming? They just walked in on me. <laughs> I was sleeping naked. They just freaked. <laughs> well, um, let's move on to something else. Do you feel tired or hungry or thirsty? Man, I could use another beer right now. Terry, get Fenton a beer. Man, this is amazing. My subject can't tell and neither can I. You mean there's no way to tell? Oh, well, sure. In, in, in some cultures, the essence of the word ghost it means a soul that will not rest. A, a boat that won't cross the River Jordan. A warrior that won't cross the Rainbow Bridge to get into Valhalla. In, the, in essence, it's a soul that will, refuses to walk because he is too proud to admit that he's dead. Or it's too stupid. No offense, Finn. I'm not taken, man. <laughs> well, that too. So the soul stays where it feels most comfortable to continue the self-deception, which in this case is here. So the only way to test this is by making him leave? Well, sure. And with it go the creations of his mind. Wait, you mean we can lose all that stuff in the attic? Not the bar! He created a whole world up there. Wow. Well, it, yeah. They prob they're probably part of the soul self-deception. They go off with the spirit, too. Man, my fraternity brothers and I stole most of that stuff. Man, you guys aren't cops, are you? <laughs> Good. Here's your beer, Fenton. Would you like a mint? Not right now, but if some chicks come over, maybe later. <laughs> guys, this is a great project. Let me know how, what you do with it. Nice meeting you, dude. Y'all should take my class with Ms. Redmond. See you, dead dude. Hey, man, stop over later and I'll let you borrow that bootleg. All right! So there is a way to tell if he's dead or not. We just have to get Fenton out to see if he's a ghost. But then we can lose all that stuff. Okay. Well, it's time to find out if you're a corpse or a nutcase. Let's go. Fenton. Um, I, I don't know. Do we have to? He's got a lot of stuff. Go. Come on, Evan. 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 Come on, Evan.
lying to you guys. This is a sham. We uh, The last time I checked, you didn't live here. Do you want me to get Cassie to tell you to get him out of here? If I ask her to do it, she will. Come on, buddy. Bring it. Well, on second thought, I'm out of this. <laughs> See you guys later. Come on, you fraud. Now, wait, wait. There's a very important opinion we're overlooking here. Fenton, how do you feel about all this? I don't care, man. I just want to watch this sports center station when it comes back on in a few minutes. See? He doesn't care. He goes. I'll check it out later. Hey, man, is that your red car in the garage? Yeah. I fixed it. Really? <laughs> Fenton, can you pay 80 bucks a month for rent? Man, I got tons of dough. I was my house treasurer. Are you sure they didn't close the account and take the money? No way, man. I kept the money in my Chuck Taylors. They smell kind of funny, so nobody checked them. Weird funny or White Castle After Effect funny? Well, kind of like in between funny. Oh. He stays. We are not losing that stuff. Did you see that vending machine? Loaded to the gills with Twinkies. Well, we can have those, right? Well, they're kind of old, aren't they, man? Oh, those never go bad. He can pay rent, too. Really? Yeah, that'd just be $80, $80 a month. So that means we'd save about... 2.2 cases a month. <laughs> you gotta like that. You can't help but like that. I can't believe it. It smells like Crisco and cheddar cheese, but, but it's like new. He fixed the car? He did? I saw him messing with the cheese grater, but hey, it wasn't my car. I wasn't gonna say anything. Are you a mechanic? Nope. But I played with a lot of Legos as a kid. <laughs> okay, Fenton. Let's go. But wait, Fenton. We just voted you a roomie. You don't have to go. It'll we just, need that sauna. It'll just take a second, man. Oh, he doesn't realize we're going to lose him. We're not going to lose him. Hey, Fenton. Sports Center. Yeah! Oh. Watch him. But doesn't he want to know? Doesn't he need to find out? No, he doesn't. I love corned beef hash! Got plenty of it, ma'am. See, by not knowing he has beer, a can of hot corned beef hash, and 80 channels at his fingertips, that's what he gets for not knowing. So tell me, Alex, what does he get by knowing? Well, he gets... Well, he gets to know! Isn't that all there is? <laughs> no! He's got Chris Berman and updates on 1998's World Cup Championship. You and all your rational world can't give him that. You've lost today's spawn of reasoning. Go! Be happy with your car and leave. But... Go! <laughs> hey, man, hockey trades! <laughs> Excellent work, Terry. Well... You know, we'll probably never know, but there's a good possibility that this young man's existence was saved by cable television. Deep. See a fellow updates, man, look! Oh, sorry, Fenton. We gotta register for classes tomorrow. Oh, crap! I forgot all about that! What am I gonna do? Just drop ad classes for the first three weeks like you always do. Yeah, that's a plan. See you later, Fenton. Hey, Fenton, you want to uh, put you into classes tomorrow? Whatever. Okay, biochemistry it is. Okay, man, but just so there's nothing for eleven o'clock. But you can't even... Uh, never mind. Night. Night. Guys? What year is it? Ah, oh, never mind. It must not be important. Australian rules football! Sweet! Hold on. Touch the white laces. Just don't make contact with the gray ones. Remember, the canvas is only deadly if you let it be. If I can just... Steady, Jay. Steady. Too much pressure. The smell is too bad. I can't. Hold together, man. Bear down. It's just... I just about... Got it. Phew, man. Oh, that was hard. You did fine. Hey, did you realize we're going to have to do this each month? Oh, man. <laughs>